Okay, in a moment, first, the news headlines from ITM at two o'clock. <laughs> The actress wife of the world heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson is suing him for divorce. A court has ordered that she and her mother should be given protection from the fighter. Robin Givens, who stars in a situation comedy, has been married to Tyson for only eight months. But it's been a stormy relationship, as they revealed in a recent interview. At a press conference in Los Angeles, her lawyer, the show business divorce lawyer Marvin Mitchelson, said she was worried. But the relationship has become completely uh, not viable between the parties. Uh, there is violence, there's been continued violence, and she fears for her safety. He, he is emotionally disturbed, there's no question about it, and uh, we just hope he gets well and healthy, Does and he that's her this? wish. The rioting in Algeria has spread from the capital to the second city, Oran. Rampaging youths have looted shops there, set fire to hotels and attacked the local party headquarters. There have been four days of street battles in Algiers over government austerity measures. In the Chilean capital, Santiago, ten people are in hospital after soldiers fired on opposition supporters. They were among hundreds of thousands of Chileans who gathered to celebrate the defeat of President Pinochet in Wednesday's referendum. Opposition leaders say they don't accept the general's vow to stay in power until 1990 but he needs a couple of days to recover. Here, Sarah Keyes, who had an affair with Cecil Parkinson, the Energy Secretary, won a High Court injunction halting the publication of Norman Tebbit's autobiography. Her lawyer said it contained a very gross libel against Ms. Keyes. The publishers were planning to launch the book, Upwardly Mobile, on Monday to coincide with the Conservative Party conference. Ms. Keyes revealed on the eve of the Tory conference five years ago that she was expecting Mr. Parkinson's child. A Jordanian student was jailed for 12 years for the rape of a 14-year-old Durham schoolgirl who got lost after coming to London to see babes in the wood. The judge said Whale Cabaretti should be deported after his sentence. Peter Howitt, who starred in the pantomime, says in The Sun the incident touched his life and he now exchanges letters with the girl. And that's it for this bulletin.